what is going on so today i'm sitting on my dryer talking about a generator why is that well because we live in the world's youngest third world country a lot of people don't know very basic things so let me uh welcome you to the channel today i'm going to be talking about how to hook up your generator the down and dirty and super elite, uh, illegal electrical way um, the way we're going to do this today is we're actually going to pipe into our dryer because our dryer has a 30 amp plug it's already ready for uh, that type of voltage to come into the house because it has a larger gauge of wire and it has a shorter span to the uh, breaker box in most cases and so when we're going to be running a lot of power uh, from a generator into our house we don't want to do that through a 120 volt you know small wire plug and the reason why is because you'll get it way too hot and you'll catch your house on fire so do not do that so today what I'm going to be showing you guys is just simply how to route and hook up your generator and pipe it right in to the, uh, to the dryer port there. So thanks for coming, thanks for watching, and let's go ahead and get this thing started. The very first thing you're gonna wanna do is locate your breaker box. Sometimes it's in your garage, sometimes it's in a closet, sometimes it's on the outside of your house. It just depends on where it is. And then you wanna shut this all the way down. Right now, power is coming in through here and it's shooting down to all these breakers, but they're just wires. You see, so they can go back and forth. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up on one of these and shoot it back up. So the reason we need to turn this off, you know, first and foremost is because when we shoot power back up, this is gonna go and charge the lines, you see? And so whenever some guy comes to fix your power and he's up there working on things and he thinks that the electrical is down and he puts his hand on something and he becomes the middleman for that electrical path there and he gets zapped. So not only are we doing this for our own safety, but more importantly, I think we're doing this for the lineman's safety because God bless our linemen, right? So uh, first thing you do, come in here and shut this down. All right, now really the only tools that you're gonna need for this project is just a pair of wire strippers, or if you're getting crafty, a pair of scissors or a pair of diagonal cutters and a number two Phillips screwdriver. So step one is gonna be to cut these up. When we strip off our shielding, we should be left with a little node like that. Just go ahead and twist those ends up just to keep them from fraying, right? So you want to take off that much on each of these. All right, now that you've successfully disappointed not only your father-in-law, but every single electrician and professional home DIYer in the world by running this through your dryer vent, you can go ahead and assemble your receptacle. I didn't show that because there are many videos out there that talk about the specific receptacles that you may have, so go ahead and research those. But now that we've got our receptacle on, we can go ahead and start backfeeding our power from our generator. It may be a good idea to turn off all of your breakers and test one at a time, but again, the most important thing is making sure that the main breaker is off so that you're not feeding the entire system. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and we're gonna go ahead and test it. And as you can see, we have power where before we did not. The AC just kicked on and it is not liking that. So we will go ahead and make sure that our AC and heat is turned off. It really did not like that. You can see the whole house shake. So let's turn that off. That's it. All right, y'all, thanks for watching. I hope you uh, learned a lot about backfeeding your generator through your dryer into the rest of your house. Uh, that's all I've got for you today. Y'all have a good one.